you ever wondered why the intrusive thoughts come to your mind? Do you find yourself obsessing over the whispers? It is challenging, isn't it? The human mind can be a breeding ground for these unwelcome visitors. They sneak in uninvited, disrupting our thoughts and exaggerate our emotions. Here I will help you understand your triggers so you can gain better control over your thoughts and behaviors. The key to successfully overcome OCD or WAS was is to manage the way you think because ultimately you believe what you decide to believe and feel the way you think. Living with OCD or WAS was means constantly battling intrusive thoughts, irrational fears and compulsive behaviors. It can be overwhelming and exhausting as you often find yourself trapped in a cycle of obsessions and rituals that you feel obliged to perform. You end up feeling frustration, anxiety and even shame. However, it is essential to remember that having empathy towards oneself is just as important as having empathy towards others. Self-compassion plays a significant role in managing OCD. Instead of criticizing ourselves for our thoughts or behaviors, we should strive to be understanding and kind towards ourselves. It's crucial to remember that behind these symptoms, you are a person who is battling your own internal struggles. Let's now explore the triggers of this condition, which can provide a deeper understanding of this complex disorder. OCD triggers are situations, thoughts or emotions that ignite intense anxiety and lead to the onset of obsessive compulsive behaviors. Identifying these triggers is the first step in regaining control over our lives. They can vary from person to person, but here are some common ones to look out for. Contamination triggers which involve a fear of any impurity, may it be najasa, germs, dirt or illness. In contamination OCD, the fears of dirt can trigger compulsive cleaning rituals or lead to avoiding certain objects or places altogether, all in an effort to feel safe and secure. However, no matter how much they clean, the fear of contamination persists, leading to a never-ending cycle of compulsive behaviors. The ritualistic cleaning rituals may provide temporary relief, but the anxiety quickly returns, often even stronger than before. This can be mentally and physically exhausting, leaving individuals feeling trapped in their own fears. They will be avoiding public places, wash excessively, or avoid physical contact with others. Public places being frequented by a multitude of people can be perceived as a significant source of contamination or najasa. The fear of coming into contact with these can trigger extreme anxiety. As a result, they may avoid public places to reduce this anxiety and fear. The fear of not being able to perform their rituals in public places or fear of being unable to maintain their desired level of cleanliness can deter them from going out in public. Order symmetry is characterized by a strong need for symmetry, exactness and a compulsion to maintain order in one's environment. Some common triggers include environmental disruptions. Any deviation from a perfectly ordered or symmetrical environment can trigger distress and anxiety. For example, seeing objects out of place, unevenly arranged items, items intruding the working place or the place of wudu prayer cause a strong compulsion to place them somewhere. Imperfections. Imperfections or irregularities in objects, patterns or textures can be highly distressing for individuals with symmetry and order OCD. They may feel compelled to fix or correct these imperfections until they achieve a sense of balance and perfection. Uncertainty. Uncertainty or doubt about whether something is perfectly symmetrical or in the correct order in performing rituals can trigger obsessive thoughts and the need to repeatedly check or rearrange things. Shaitan will try his best to make you doubt your acts of worship over and over again, convincing you that the order is messed up or there are missing or invalid parts, such as the intention or the words you pronounce. This uncertainty can lead to repetitive behaviors and arise in various situations, even in aligning brothers correctly in prayer. Time-consuming activities. Engaging in activities that require meticulous attention to detail, such as prayer, 
fasting, studying, cooking, organizing a closet or arranging items on a desk can trigger obsessive thoughts and compulsions. The need for everything to be just right can lead to spending excessive amounts of time on these tasks. Triggers from external stimuli, certain external stimuli such as seeing a perfectly symmetrical object or pattern can intensify obsessions and compulsions. This could include encountering symmetrical designs, geometric shapes on a prayer mat or patterns that evoke a strong urge to maintain or create symmetry or evoke pattern hallucinations. This is why some individuals who suffer from waswasa pray in plain colored clothing and use plain mats. It's important to note that triggers can be highly individualized and what may trigger one person's symmetry and order OCD may not affect another person in the same way. Understanding these triggers can help individuals with this condition better manage their obsessions and compulsions, leading to improved quality of life. The intrusive thoughts triggers. Although they have involuntary nature and they pop up unexpectedly, intrusive thoughts typically provoke the person to feel guilty, ashamed or afraid that having such thoughts, seeing themselves as a bad or dangerous person. One common trigger is stress, which can amplify the intensity and frequency of intrusive thoughts. When we are under significant stress, our minds can become overwhelmed, leading to a flood of intrusive thoughts that seem difficult to control. It's important to note that everyone's triggers for intrusive thoughts may vary, and what affects one person may not have the same impact on another. By recognizing the triggers that contribute to our intrusive thoughts, we can begin to develop strategies to minimize their influence. This may involve practicing relaxation techniques, engaging in mindfulness exercises, or seeking support from mental health professionals. Another trigger for intrusive thoughts is anxiety. Anxiety often stems from a sense of uncertainty or fear, and this heightened state of worry can act as a catalyst for intrusive thoughts to emerge, whether it's worrying about past events or anticipating future scenarios, anxiety can fuel the intrusive thought cycle and make it challenging to break free from its grip. Traumatic experiences can also serve as triggers for intrusive thoughts. When we have gone through a distressing event, our minds may replay the memories or images associated with it, causing intrusive thoughts to intrude upon our consciousness. These thoughts can be distressing and intrusive, making it difficult to focus on the present moment or engage in daily activities without being reminded of the past trauma. Certain environments or situations can act as triggers for intrusive thoughts as well. For example, being in a crowded place or encountering triggers related to a specific phobia can activate intrusive thoughts associated with those fears. Similarly, exposure to certain stimuli such as violent or disturbing images can trigger intrusive thoughts that are unsettling and hard to shake off. It's important to note that everyone's triggers for intrusive thoughts may vary and what affects one person may not have the same impact on another. Remember, while we may not have control over the occurrence of intrusive thoughts, we do have the power to manage their impact on our lives. It's important to understand that having intrusive thoughts is a common human experience and they do not define a person's character or intentions. Intrusive thoughts are particularly associated with waswas or obsessive compulsive disorder, OCD, where they often trigger compulsive behaviors. However, they can also occur in other conditions such as post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, anxiety disorders, depression and more. All of these triggers and conditions cause immense feelings, a perfect base for Shaitan to play his part and aim to destroy you and your faith. Once you have identified your triggers, it's essential to develop effective strategies for managing them. Here are some practical steps to help you on your journey. Step number one, self-awareness. Self-awareness is an essential aspect of personal growth and development. It involves having a deep understanding of one's own thoughts, emotions and behaviors. By becoming more self-aware, you can identify patterns and triggers that lead to OCD symptoms. Step number two, cognitive restructuring. 
challenge negative thoughts and replace them with more positive and rational ones. Remind yourself that your fears and anxieties are not based on reality. They are not real and do not define who you are. Step number three, exposure and response prevention ERP. Gradually expose yourself to situations that trigger your waswasa and resist the urge to engage in compulsive behaviors. This process helps desensitize you to your triggers over time. Step number four, support system. Seek support from loved ones, friends or support groups. Never let yourself feel alone. Sharing your experiences and feelings with others who understand can provide comfort and encouragement. We at WazWaz OCD are here for any support needed. Step number five, one I recommend in most cases, consider seeking help from a mental health professional. Psychotherapy is a great choice for faster recovery. The sessions are pleasant and assure empowerment, self-efficacy, long-time management, coping skills and strategies. They can provide specialized guidance and interventions tailored to your needs. Remember, managing OCD triggers is a journey that requires patience and persistence. Be kind to yourself as you navigate this process and know that you are not alone. In conclusion, identifying OCD triggers is crucial for effectively managing your symptoms. By cultivating self-awareness, challenging negative thoughts, exposure therapy and seeking support, you can regain control over your life. We hope this video has provided you with valuable insights and practical strategies to identify and manage your OCD triggers. Have you recognized any of them? Have you tried implementing these strategies? Let me know in the comments below. Remember, subscribe to our channel for more empowering content. May you find strength and ease on your journey towards managing your waswasa OCD. Know that you have the ability to overcome your triggers and live a fulfilling and balanced life. Until next time, take care and thank you for watching.